Steve, thank you for inviting us down here to Ringwood to, to take in a women's training session. I just want to reflect on the season on the whole with you, if, if I can. We'll start all the way back in June. The club was taken under the umbrella with, with Bill Foley's ownership. Just your thoughts on that and, and the season as a whole so far? Yeah, back in the summer, I think it was a, it's a big change for, for the women's team. Um, we're really grateful to, to Bill Foley and to Neil Blake in making that announcement that there was going to be contracts for the players. Um, it gave us a little bit of security. We were able to go out and um, start our recruitment process. So I think we started that with um, maintaining or retaining the, the players that we wanted to from the previous season, where we'd finished fourth in the National League, which you know, we thought was a good season. The summer was a really busy time for us, but it got us into a position um, where we felt that we had a really competitive squad to, to start off the season. And from that platform, you've obviously been incredibly impressive in the league this season. I think it's 17 wins out of 19 now so far. Just give us a, an assessment, if you can, a, a bite-sized summary of the season as a whole. Yeah, we've really enjoyed the season. It's been uh, hugely competitive. Um, we started off really brightly. We got an opening day win, a big win, and you know the results kept on coming from there. And uh, the performance levels were really high, and we were really pleased with the way that we started off the season. I think we will also add in the training sessions in there as well. We were noticing a huge difference in training. Training was hugely competitive. We probably found ourselves in a position where, for the first time with the women's team, that were actually leaving players out of the match day squad. We saw the, 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 the new players settling really well and um, yeah, it was a really good start to the season and we maintained that all the way through and um, here we are now today, still unbeaten in the league and um, with three games to go. And with that exciting time and with those exciting moments come, come memories that these players will remember forever playing in front of record attendances at Vitality Stadium and over doubling previous campaigns. Yeah, you, we, we play our games out at Ringwoods and uh, you know it's a great facility for us to, to host the women's team here. Uh, but our average crowd has gone up. We're really grateful to everybody who comes and supports us here at Ringwood. It's around 350. We've touched 400 on a couple of occasions. Um, but the two games at the Vitality Stadium are just memorable occasions. Um, I've got to say a big thank you to all the departments at the football club for, for you know, promoting the game and um, getting the attendance they have. I think it was nearly 13,000 across the two the two league games and um, they were memorable occasions for the players and um, real highlights for us uh, to be able to play at a stadium pitch and uh, see so many people come out and support the team. It doesn't just come as memorable moments for the players, it comes as, as memorable moments for the town, doesn't it? Inspiring that next generation and when you see players signing autographs for, for young children and everything like that, that's, that's almost what it's all about really. Yeah, and that's the, the nice bit when I get the opportunity to reflect on those moments at the stadium or the special moments that we've had throughout the season. And we had it here at the weekends. Um, a lot of young families um, that come to watch, a lot of boys and girls that are there supporting the team. And um, the players always stay behind afterwards. They don't go in the change room straight away. It's a bit of a, a tradition in the women's game that they stay out and meet the fans. And it fills me with great pride. I've been part of the women's setup now for a long time. And to see us hosting the game at the Vitality Stadium, the, the, the local town, as you say, coming out and supporting us, uh, it's, uh, it's a really proud moment and, uh, and I'd say it's a really special moment for the players and hopefully the supporters as well. Some faces here that have been with the club a long time come through the youth system as well. That must be really proud for everybody involved with the whole development structure here. Yeah, on a Wednesday night, it's a, it's a big night for us because we start uh, here at Ringwood at five o'clock with our under 10s uh, and they go right through all the age groups, the 12s, the 14s, the 16s. And then we were into the senior teams with the development and enjoying a very good season and ourselves. So you see the whole kind of like range of players that we have at AFC Bournemouth. And yeah, it does. It fills me with great pride um, being able to work with those younger players as well and seeing them develop and come into the, the first team environment. It's an important uh, recruitment for us as well. You know, we've got the likes of Katie Scadden and Abby Jones and Lucy Cooper and Holly Humphreys that have come through that and have made some really good impressions in the first team. So yeah, it's really great when that happens mentioned there about a team being together with, with old and fresh faces, but they're also a team that want to entertain, aren't they? Over 120 goals scored across all competitions this season. Yeah, it's a big part of our game. We've got a lot of attacking players in the squad. Um, we certainly do want to entertain. Uh, we want to play at a high tempo. We want to be trying to be creative. That's what we try and set our culture right throughout the season. And um, yeah, we've managed to score a few goals and there've been some great goals along the way as well. We've got a number of players that have reached double figures now for, for goals. and. Um, it's something that we work on trying to score those goals, but importantly, try to, to, to defend them as well. So we've got that nice balance in the team, but yeah, we've enjoyed scoring those goals. We now know there's three big games between now and the end of the season, and we know that three wins would, would get us promotion up to the third tier. Just give us your assessment on those three games going forward. Yeah, right throughout the season, it's probably what all managers say. You concentrate on the next game, but you know, we've um, had this incredible run. We probably didn't expect to, to be undefeated coming into the last few weeks of the season, but 
that's testament to the quality of the performances that players have put on. And we find ourselves now three games to go, one more here at Ringwood and then two um, really tough away matches to finish off the season. But we have to win all three. The way that it's worked out and you know, the way to twist the fate with the, uh, the fixtures are that the Exeter one is the last game of the season. But each of these last three games are really important. Um, they're going to be tough challenges in, in different ways. Um, but the team have uh, approached every challenge that they've had this season in a really positive way. I said to the players a couple of weeks ago, it's a privilege to be in the position that we are. We're enjoying that title challenge. It's a great title challenge. I think it's great for the National League that we've got two teams that are undefeated going into the last three games, three games each. Like I said, we've got to concentrate on the, the, the two other games as well. But yeah, there's no doubt that um, if it does come down to, to the last game of the season, I think it's going to be a real showcase for, for the league and a, and a real highlight of the season. I don't need to, to, to tell them too much about what's at stake each week. Um, we've had that from week one. They're, like I say, they're a really determined group. They're a group that want to be the best that they can be. Uh, training standards are exceptionally high and they try to match them uh, on, on the match day. So they'll be doing that over the last three games. I know that they'll give their absolute uh, uh, maximum effort for the football club.